Hi guys, and welcome to Nelly's new room transformation. I actually helped Nelly kind of construct a DIY room with old furniture that I had which is the room that we started off with last year in her room transformation it was composed of a mirror that was supposed to go on top of a dresser an old nightstand that I had had since I was probably like six years old and a cubicle that I had bought with my quinceanera money I decided to give to her so that she could have a room so to say that we have evolved is an understatement this year's transformation is the best one yet last year we did the first official big transformation for Nelly's room but I will say I think I made a mistake I really didn't want to force Nelly to pick things that I like and I decided to let her have kind of full control over flooring furniture and I would just do like bedding and a frame on the wall like that one are you kidding me small it's a cool toned one he likes cool toned I do not but this is her room and we're gonna go with, with the client like that caused a year later for her to not be happy with her room anymore it looked good but it was pretty plain so this year I have taken full creative control of the room we are doing something completely new so let's get started <laughs> is going to be oh you're so smart to lie Ding. <laughs> before you take the bed out I need you to do me a favor move the bed from here to over there and that to over here okay what Wait, move the bed to the index for it okay wanna see something cute let me see Aww. oh my mommy my little wife she was so young <laughs> Don sponsor us. Let's go! My dad and Ricardo are building the nightstands. Meanwhile, I have to go buy some lime wash paint or two different colors of paint to attempt to do a lime wash or like an accent wall in Nelly's room. Let's go get that really quick because we need to paint the wall before they build the bed. I brought Bailey Baby with me. Baddest is here. Hurry up, hole. We're gonna get these paint brushes. <laughs> and that's really annoying. You're blind, is that one? They put him in the bed, honey. All right, so we got nightstands. Mom's also making tamales de lotes, so she's making me try to see if it's ready. <laughs> Divider, right? Mm -hmm. First paint job. Yeah, yeah, like that. Exactly. Oh my Ooh, god, this is gonna look go. too cute. Okay, girls, we'll be back. We're gonna go to the store. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, it's because they need help. I don't fucking care. <laughs> You guys were so fast. You guys ate. We decided to abort target mission and instead do the bed because it's getting late already. I'm gonna be working on the drawers that go under the bed while my dad and Ricardo work on the actual like bed frame. completely different <gasps> oh, actually no that it's a good contrast what happened no. no Nelly don't worry it's a good contrast trust life finally has nightstands ah, this is my favorite stores to shop at I'm so excited I'm doing this for Nelly 
We also need sheets for Nelai's bed. Hey, oh my gosh, this is so cute. Wow. Looks good, like for a house. Wow, this one would have been perfect. But it's sold already. This one's pretty, but it is honestly a little bit too big. And it's also $17,000. $17,000. $1,700. They found a cool mirror. A thousand two hundred of them. I was actually really excited to come to the store because I had never been, but didn't have that many things. We're just gonna go to Home Goods and see if we can find a desk, a mirror, and a rug there. Ooh, we have a lot of mirrors in sight. This one's cutie and it's only a hundred dollars. A dad? Look, <gasps> Nelly, look at the one over there in the this back. One? This eagly one. Ooh, oh, it's huge. Okay. Oh my gosh, this one is amazing. And it's hugeness, that one. No more pictures in mom's room, Nelly. Calling mom. What is we need? We're getting this little machine. Ah, no. <laughs> it was no, too much for me. Lamp check, mirror check. That's so pretty, and it's a pretty sage green. <gasps> it reeks. It reeks. Maybe it's you. <laughs> You me. We're changing it to this. Look at these patterns already. We need pillows. Shopping with Nelai is the worst. I have to punch it. I like that one. Too soft. Mm-hmm. This is good. Too hard. Who the f let me come out with my hair out like this? I feel like I look like my mom in the 2000s. <laughs> no, no, no. It's just this is the hairstyle my mom would do, and it was frizzy because she has frizzy hair. That's who I got it from. We're picking a rug. I really like how this one has like the orange yeah, contrast. Like the, the other one doesn't really have that. I mean, it's completely different. Mom's giving me a ride to Ross because it's right next door and I didn't want to walk. So now we're in the Susu. All right, it is Ross time now. There is so much line, but we ended up finding this rug. It's pretty cute. Not the way we were originally going for, but it's okay. Fits perfectly. Oh. I'm looking at this desk online. I really like it, but it says it's no longer available. Now that Anelai is gone, go ahead and go buy all of the rest of the statement pieces that we're gonna need for the room so that it can be a little bit of a surprise to her. All of her bedding and maybe the desk, I'm not sure. We're still like figuring that out, but thankfully at least I have a rug. For bedding, we're gonna get this comforter. It's a velvet comforter. So the material is a little like soft here, but the inside it's like really comfortable to sleep with. This is the Threshold brand and I love these comforters. We're gonna get this. So found the perfect desk. It is wood. I'm a little bit scared that I'm gonna overdo it on the wood because we got a wooden bed, a wooden mirror, and then that's gonna be a wooden desk. I'm gonna hope that it's not overdone. And if anything, we'll just paint the mirror black. The only change I am gonna do is for the sheets, we're gonna do a kind of terracotta slash like orange color we got these ones it's pretty much a terracotta color i've always wanted to do this for my bedroom nelly's is going to be perfect because we're going with wood tones earthy tones i think it's just the vibe we have to do it if we hate it i guess we can return it my hair is literally so out of control i'm dead let's go get the desk and we can go put everything together Ooh, we need this for the desk we're gonna do a little bit of a diy with this picture frame so we can hang this behind her bed let's go small car make it fit all the goods have been secured now on to the decoration process and also probably less crispy process i literally took a picture with somebody right now i'm so sad for whoever got that picture for the rest of their life because it's me with crusty hair <laughs> and super oily it is finally reveal day today's the day we put everything completely together it's my favorite day whenever i do any transformation slash renovation I just left to go to soccer practice, which is perfect because that means we have like two hours to unroll the carpet and put it under this bed, which is one of the biggest missions because we've done it to our bed and it's so heavy and so hard. I already built the desk, so we have to acomodarlo. So put it back in place. Before we do that, we need to remove the vanity she currently has. Keep in mind, she did not take anything out. We also need to set up the lights on that wall and put all of her new bedding Oh, such a good cuddle, buddy. We need a vacuum here. This shit's freaking gross. Nelly's room 
Roma it has really bad lighting. It has a really good window, so when there's sunlight, it looks really, really bright in here and pretty. But when there's no sunlight out, this lamp the fan she has has zero light. So we're gonna do the desk first because she uses this mirror that's right behind me as most of her light source. So let's set up her new desk so we also have light in here. The sun is about to set. It's rug time. We're gonna do the rug underneath the bed first. So we ended up going with this rug. The pattern one we wanted from Home Goods was too big. Ooh, this shit's heavy. Oh. Does it actually hit it? I don't know. It looks like it. It does like. It looks like it's gonna hit it. Uh huh. Ta da! Should I put it in the middle? By the way, this little tree plant that we have right here is one that I had bought from my mom's office. She had it in the kitchen for now because her office is not done yet. But we decided to bring it in here because we thought it was cute. We need some light in here, baby. Light it up. Perfect. We finally have light in the room. I was honestly so afraid of it being way too much wood tones in here because we have the bed, the nightstands, and the desk. But I don't think it looks that bad. It could have looked a lot worse. I'm going to go ahead and fix the bed, put the new sheet, comforter, pillowcase, all that stuff. Meanwhile, I'm going to have Ricardo working on this wall right here, which is where we're going to put all of the new lights. I'm going to do like a weird eccentric pattern. These LED lights that I got from Amazon, they're like these rope lights that you can control with this little remote. This is how the lights look. There's a lot of them in here. Let's fix all of these sheets. We're gonna change them for the velvet comforter and the terracotta sheets. We're gonna try to do the LED wall, but it came with screws and I don't wanna screw all over the wall. So Ricardo went to go buy some double-sided tape and hopefully I'm praying that it stays on there. I'm going to put in all of like the smaller decorations. Lily loves painting and she had this little painting already and I thought it'd be so perfect if I put this inside of here and hang it up. I really, really love how these lights are turning out. Oh my gosh. It's the perfect decoration for this wall because it didn't have a lot of things and then it's also squiggly like the mirror. for this moment from the moment she asked me to do this for her <gasps>